Today's video is about the play date. I got to experience the play date back in 2019 at PAX West in person. And at the time I was blown away by how unique this new device, which is coming this year, is. And in today's video, I'm gonna share with you 10 reasons why I'm excited about the play date and something you may wanna consider if you're into handheld gaming. You know, the play date was delayed like many other things. And it's kind of taken a back seat recently to the Steam Deck and some other news about video games, but it is coming out and I'm really excited about it. It's being offered by the game company Panic, you know, most known probably for Untitled Goose Game and Firewatch. First and foremost, this is different. From the get-go, you know, they're really trying to offer a unique handheld gaming experience. It looks like kind of a, like a squished Game Boy meets like a, a, an iPod. That is the best way to describe it. Maybe a little bit of a Kindle as well. And so uh, the first thing that I like about it is that it is different. You know, this is not trying to be some mainstream device. You know, some people may say it's hipster. It's true, it should be bundled in with like a plaid blanket and a craft beer, but I like it because it is different. And so it's gonna have 24 built-in games. And, and how that what that means, and, and another reason why I like that, is that you're not gonna have to go out and buy any games for this for the first 12 weeks. It's got a unique distribution system for its games. Another th reason why I like it. And so it's gonna have 24 built-in games. It was gonna be 12 games, one a week. Now it's 24. So you get two games a week for the first 12 weeks of your handheld experience. I really like that. And I think that adds a, an element of surprise where you know you, you open up a game and you get to play it. And you know they, they admit that you're not gonna like all the games, but the games that they've shown, some of them are really interesting. The other thing I like about this is the pre-orders. How they're doing the pre-orders is that they're gonna ramp up production pending on the demand. And so the pre-orders do go live on Thursday, July 29th. Um, and, and if you're watching this video afterwards, you can go to their site and see if they're still doing pre-orders. They plan on having the first batch of units to come out to the public at the end of this year. So, uh, you know, first 20,000 is what they, they're saying, uh, and then the rest are gonna come in 2022. And so I think they're being pretty upfront about kind of how this is gonna be rolled out. I really like that though. It looks like they're um, you're going to be able to go to their site and then whether or not it's going to crash tomorrow, whether or not they'll be overwhelmed with pre-orders, who knows. But I do like that they are giving people enough ample time. Hey, we're going to we're going to offer these at this time, 10 o'clock on Thursday morning, uh, July 29th. Uh, you be able to pre-order this. Fingers crossed. I know I'm going to be pre-ordering one as I'm really looking forward to this. One thing that's not really uh, been advertised quite a bit are the apps. And so this is gonna offer some really cool things as well as being able to play these unique gaming experiences. And some of the apps are really cool. It's gonna have uh, a couple apps on there for coding, uh, one without any coding experience, Pulp. Uh, looks like you'll be able to transfer desktop fonts to it. But the one that I was really intrigued by being a YouTuber was the Mirror app. And it's not available yet, but looks like you'll be able to capture footage through a PC uh, using an app. And I really like that they've thought ahead and thought about content creators where we will be able to share some of the gameplay footage easily with, with people that are on the side or interested or may just want to see how the games look. I really like that, um, and so of all the apps, I'm most intrigued by that. And it's not really been talked about quite a bit, so I definitely wanna get my hands on it and experience it myself. The other big thing, and this has been an issue with a couple other handhelds that have been announced, is battery life, okay? The battery life, and quoting them, is it's eight hours of continuous gameplay. Now, some preview units went out to some known websites. There was a lot of feedback on that battery life. And so far, the eight, eight hours of continuous gameplay is, is what they have experienced as well. And I really like that. You know, the problem with the Switch 
and uh, even the Steam Deck is, you know, they're going to consume a decent amount of power. And so if you're playing a AAA title or something, you're not going to get a ton of battery life. I know I have kind of a worn down switch and my battery life is not that great. So having eight hours of continuous gameplay, now whether or not there'll be a game that you that will take eight hours, that's a, that's a separate conversation. But I do like the fact that they're thinking ahead. This truly is a handheld and focused on offering a, um, a handheld experience. Let's talk about that screen. And so there's been a lot of talk about the, that screen on the Playdate and it's super reflective. It doesn't have a backlit. It doesn't need one. Think of like a, like a high-end Kindle. It's 400 by 240. And so this is going to have a really nice look and you'll be able to play it in the sun. I know that's a big complaint of the Switch is that it's hard sometimes to play in direct sunlight. And the Playdate is really focused on offering a unique experience Definitely kind of taking a nod from the Game Boy, but adding modern technology to make this work. So let's talk about that design. Design, it's, it's, it's a fraction of the size and weight of a Switch. This is truly a handheld game. This is something you can probably easily fit in a pocket. It's got supposedly uh, super clicky buttons and control pad. Panic did team up with Teenage Engineering, and they have a lot of experience with hardware and it really looks like they've done a great job with uh, assembling this. Uh, from the previews from the articles that were sent a preview unit, they did praise the, the, the feel of the device, the texturing, and so uh, I'm really, I really wanna get my hands on it to, to see it for myself, but, but a lot of them have praised the design. It doesn't feel too cheap. You know, that's part of the problem sometimes with uh, handhelds is that they either are too heavy or too light or too cheap. And finding that happy medium, I think is important, but that size is important. Also, let's talk about that crank. You know, one thing about this device, I think, and it's some, it was an important hardware design decision was to add something truly unique. And that, that crank is definitely something very unique that no other handheld has that I know of. And so having that as kind of a gameplay additional mechanic, I think it's cool. Now, not all games use the crank. Uh, it's just an additional option for development. If you wanna utilize it, you can. I definitely wanna see the games that utilize it. How does it feel? And, uh, you know, does it add an element of gameplay that is going to intrigue people enough to purchase one or to play? And definitely, last and definitely not least, is the price. Look at that price. Price of $179. And so you do have to pay up front. Just a heads up if you're considering pre-ordering this tomorrow. And it is completely refundable. So they're also adding some additional things as as well as a cover, adding a stereo dock as well. And it's it's definitely hipster with a pen holder and it's a stereo Bluetooth speaker that uh, it also charges your handheld. And so it, it's, it's crazy. It's definitely something that's not gonna be for everybody, but I'm intrigued by it because it's different. I like that they're doing something different here. You know, uh, it, they can't compete with the Steam Deck or the Switch. They're, they're offering a complete different gaming experience. Now, I think this definitely has a market. Whether how, how big that market is is to be determined. That doesn't really matter to me because I think they're doing a handheld right. And the other thing I like, I've talked about some other products. When something launches, it's about supporting that console as they go. What I like about what they've done here is they've killed two birds with one stone. You know, they've they've have the 24 games for launch and they're going to distribute those for the first 12 weeks. That's the first 4 months of this handheld and I really like that that they have that implemented in which you're going to be able to check out the game library and if you get the handheld, you've already purchased all 24 games and so i really think that's a cool idea i do have some questions about you know moving forward 
how our games are going to be offered, uh, how easy is it to program for, as well as other things. I definitely want to be able to check out other people's program games. You know, looking at that screen and looking at what it's capable of, I can see several people making some wonderful adaptations of classic games, and I'm really looking forward to checking this out myself. So what did you think? Are you getting a play date? Are you thinking about it? Are you on the side? Anyways, I want to thank everybody for the ongoing support. I thought I'd do a fun video dedicated to the play date as it's going to be available for pre-order very soon. And so the link below to their website for more additional information. I really like what they've announced and really like what they're doing with this. And it has my support. And I'm going to be sharing that information with you because I think it's important to get the information out to make a determination if it's something that you want to consider. Thanks everybody for watching my channel. If you're new, consider hitting that like and subscribe button and clicking the bell as I'm uploading videos every week. You folks are wonderful and beautiful. Let's keep it positive. This is the immortal John Hancock. Thank you for watching today and you have a good day.